time, so a long time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bring this meeting to order at 7 p.m. Everyone, please rise. Would Donna and <coughs> Bennett please lead us in a pledge of allegiance? Yes. Yeah. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. <coughs> My name is Stephen LeBranch. I'm the chairman. Um, I'd like the members to please introduce themselves, starting with Sonny. Sonny Kravitz. Regina Barnes, Board of Selectmen, Representative. Brian Lapp. Steve Henderson. Blake Bluff. Jones. David Mora. And we have Barbara Kravitz, our recorder, as well. So, tonight, we have a lot of work to do, a lot of ground to cover. Uh, we're going to be working on, we have a list here under the agenda item four. But we're not going to go in the order that they're listed here. I've actually changed the order a little bit because um, I want to get uh, some of the easier things in and out of here very quickly. So the first up, please, would be we're going to work on the cemetery budget. And so, Danny, would you please come up? Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Would you like me to move the cemetery budget for one hundred thirty thousand, one hundred eight dollars? I wish you After would. Mr. Henderson will second it, and we can second. proceed. Okay, uh, Barbara, motion by Tim and seconded by Steve Henderson. Get the motion, Barbara. You, you moved it. Did you have a figure in it? Yes, I did. Would you like to hear it again? Yes. Please. Cemeteries is the item. Yes. Count number four one nine five for one hundred thirty thousand one hundred eight dollars. Thank you. So, Danny, if you would please. Ah uh, yes. Um. Uh, j uh, just just quickly, I want to say. Uh, Despite my pleading and everything else, uh, Mr. Harrison was given us 12 years. Uh, says he's not going to run again this year, and I just want to say that he is. I've had worked with a lot of really good trustees over the years, majority, and uh, none better, none better than this man. And I thank him so much. He uh, main thing that he's always been is a uh, voice of reason and needed and but uh, always followed his oath his oath he always did what he believed was in best behalf of the cemetery and Tommy thank you so much thank you and, uh, I'm ready for questions okay if you want to please um, the way that we're doing this is if you wanted to just go through your um, any lines <coughs> on page uh, 17 and highlight anything if you want to explain for instance um, you have a couple of things that stand up quite yes a bit. <coughs> um, uh, I, I, I've been asked quite a bit about repairs and maintenance um, that was my um, screw up on that uh, last year we originally budgeted for two new mowers um, but my guys, we all talk, we all decided instead to buy a leaf blower, a uh, leaf sucker, leaf blower, which has turned out to be a wonderful piece of equipment. But here was my issue in doing that. What about those two mowers? It was sort of a flip of a coin, <laughs> you know, that, that whether or not they were going to last us through the year. So it was uh, fortunately the nickel that uh, the coin did come up heads. But this was really for insurance in case that didn't happen. Um, other than that, we've added uh, under cemetery improvements uh, five thousand uh, dollars. What I would like to do is make this a um, a regular housekeeping thing. Uh, we, you, know, you know, we have a 168-year-old cemetery. Uh, we have an infrastructure that is just in terrible condition. 
Uh, I'm talking roads, talking trees, uh, I, uh, irrigation, restoration. Uh, I can go on and on. Now, we're not going to be able, $5,000 won't cover it, but at least let us address one thing and then next year the next thing. And uh, um, as I said, hopefully we'll make this a regular housekeeping thing every year so we can at least do one of the things that need to be done. Uh, 28 roads up there, so many of them in disrepair. Trees overgrown, stones up. I, like I say, it's 168 year old cemetery. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so uh, I think, other than that, that's really, um, I don't know if there's anything else. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll take some questions from the um, committee here. I just want to, um, I had made a note <laughs> of the cemetery improvements and I put next to it no question mark. And um, I think that you have a good plan. Thank you. you know, chip away at it. Thank you. Put some money and start now before you let things go too far. Um, and the other thing that um, contracted services, you have a couple of lines that look like they're, if they've gone up, you know, by some gigantic percentage. It's not, I realize it's not a lot of money, mm -hmm. um, yet um, contracted services would be, for instance, you have water shutting on and off, and I know that Aquarian has is charging more nowadays mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and tree work, you bring a contractor in to do some, yeah. take down some trees and things like that. So, I think it's um, it's reasonable to. It looks like a big percentage, sixty six point six seven, but it's two thousand um, dollars. And and the same with the the one just below it. I I wonder why the telephone that would go from 800 to 1500 is uh, that? I, I, I think that's because of the computer oh. we didn't have before, it, so we have to pay the regular rate. On okay, that. I uh, understand. That makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. Because the, uh, are you using like a, a DSL line or something to connect? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, my fi I understand. All right, I don't have any other questions. Does uh, Are there any questions from this this committee for Danny? Yes, uh, Sonny? Uh, basically, I understand what you want and what your needs are. But you've got the DPW, got a bump with the bond issue, you've got $41 million worth of upgrades, sure. you've got the SAU 90, the, the new building, and the bond, the bond interest is going to hit. So they're going to be about 12% up. Sure. You know, if you're flipping the coin, <coughs> I would suggest just flipping another Well, I won't game. be flipping a coin this year. <laughs> <laughs> I did last year when I, because uh, those, we, no, I, I didn't mean, know if those two more, we are replacing the two yeah, more. The worst thing, worst thing that can happen is the voters will give you a default budget and you'll have to live with <coughs> these numbers. Okay. Well, if that happens, that happens. You know, I'm not quarreling with you. Oh, I, 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 no, I understand what yeah. you're saying, certainly. Um, and yes, it does come down to what the voters, but, um, you know, we talked about this, and uh, I, you know, I find it to be reasonable. I, you know, I'm not going to start saying what I said so many times. Yeah. But, no, but no, you know, we're, we're, we are by far, <coughs> we are by far uh, the lowest. This is, no. extra alone has 80,000. Yeah. It's a big jump, you know. It's for part-time labor. If I did a partial, voters might overlook it otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I've been told many times that if I didn't, if my budget could be separate. I, yeah, because, I, I mean, your customers aren't going anywhere. They'll be there anyway. Um, well, yeah, but... Okay. Yeah, but the, uh, the, the the idea is uh, peace. That you know, a cemetery is about peace. Uh, I, I want people, my lot owners, when they come in to visit their loved ones, I want them to feel at peace. That's all it's about. <coughs> and this too may be. This is my twenty ninth year here, and this too may very well be my last year. Um, hope it's not, but it very well could be. And I, uh -oh. it's been a, it's, 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 it's just been an honor. Yet, it's been an honor and a privilege. Uh, I'll, oh, tell you, I, I'll tell you something. There's no better feeling than be able to go home, look at yourself in the mirror and say, you help somebody find peace. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quarreling with a, you. I'm just I understand. No, I understand what you're saying. I'm <coughs> just, uh, okay, thank you, Sonny. 
Uh, Steve? Yeah, I'll make it quick. Um, I think the budget looks good. Thank you. You know, it's uh, one of those things, uh, you know, you have a couple of lawnmowers there that are ready to fall apart. It costs more money to keep these machines running than not. So, you know, if it's time to replace a couple mowers and it's $5,000, then so be it. Yeah. We move on. So, yeah, I have no issues. It looks good. Thank you. Any other comments? Uh, go ahead, Tim. <coughs> okay, you have a raise in here? Yes, he does. Yes, I do. And that is 2.4%. 2. 2. Yes, yes 2.4. I have not, you know, the last few years, I, I'm not in a union or anything like that, so I haven't got the 1.5. If you look, I've just taken a stipend for So there's 2.41% raises this yours year, entirely, This year, right? This year I did, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's probably not going to, it may not be mine, so it doesn't <laughs> matter, but if it is, I may run for Well, for the person sitting in your position, whoever it may be. The superintendent, right. yeah, right. That's, that's, that's what it says. Uh, you mentioned earlier the telephone's up considerably because of the computer. And I, is the electric up similarly for yes, the same reason? Yes, Well, you know, when they reno before they renovated the building, it's all I had was one light bulb, and that was it. Uh, now I have all these lights. Um, and, and, uh, the electric, yeah, it has it has gone up. Um, Do you need all those lights? Well, I can't help it when I turn the switch. That's on. That's what I'm they, wondering whether we put some of those lights on a separate switch. No, they're all on one switch. I I, I don't know if that could be done or not. I could. Certainly, ask the electrician. Well, it probably costs more to do that than <laughs> yeah. Would electrician. Bring an electrician. Yeah. Well, it depends on how you amortize it, Steve. <laughs> and, and occasionally, <laughs> and, yeah, occasionally, um, if it gets, the, the, I keep the building at at forty eight, <laughs> but occasionally the pipes will freeze uh, in the bathroom. So I will every so often. It's, it's going to be really, really cold. I don't have a problem with the heat. The heat I know. I, well, I'm just saying I have an electric heater too in the oh. bath. I don't use it unless I really have to. Oh, you need a personal heater for your heat? <laughs> yeah, in the, in, the, in the bathroom. Got one of those myself. In the bathroom. Very yeah. effective. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Any other questions? Seeing none. Um, <clears throat> raise your hand if you're in favor. <laughs> Unanimous. Thank you very much. Have Thank a, you very have much. a good night Thank and you, best of luck. luck with everything. Okay. All right. Next up, please, um, Michelle Kingsley with the Welfare Department. Mr. Jammer. Hold on. Is, is anybody here from the Welfare Department? Okay. Um, <coughs> how should we handle that? Fred, do you want to? You want to do um, <coughs> Michelle's, Jim. please? Yes. Welfare is a subline item under health agencies, hospitals, and other. <laughs> Included with it, not only is welfare, but also mosquito control. Okay. So you may want to have it all at one, as we have been traditionally doing it. Um, Bring mosquito control up with it, and I can make a motion for the for the whole. Is is Ann Kaiser here, or somebody somebody here to represent the mosquito control? Apparently not, then Fred, Fred can handle that both. too. All right, I'll move uh, health agencies, hospitals, and other for $164,955. I'll second it. You okay, Christy? Christy? I think that actually includes animal control also. Yeah. No, I added up uh, mosquito control and welfare. Okay. Can I have the number again, please? Sure. $164,955 for. Health agencies, comma, hospitals, comma, and other. There we are. Okay. So, start with the, with the welfare. It should be pretty easy. Um, I'm seeing uh, zero percent. Zero percent. I think that it's not, we don't need to talk about that too much. Anybody have any comments or any questions about the welfare? Seeing none, okay, thank you very much. Same with mosquito, no Let's questions. move right along to the mosquitoes. Uh, where is mosquito? Right before welcome. Yeah. Before, yeah. before. Okay. Here we are. And we have a 0%. It's any a questions? Three-year contract. Yeah, any questions, comments? Let's vote. Seeing none, we have a motion seconded by Steve Henderson. All those in favor? Thank you very much, unanimous. Okay, that Thanks takes care of two and three. Number four, building code, Kevin Schultz, please. 
Excuse me, can I have that figure, please, for the mosquito? Tim, could you give... Um, there is no figure for mosquito. It's one line called health agencies, comma, hospitals, comma, and other. That's okay. we so, passed. So that so motion for $164,955. Thank you. Okay, you now I would like to make a motion for building inspection. Uh-huh. For $222,558. Okay. Second. Seconded by Steve Henderson. <clears throat> hi, hi, Kevin. Um, Good evening. I have Kevin Schultz here from the building department, our building inspector. Um, you have a minus 1.14 uh, budget. I think that that's just wonderful. Um, I. Anybody have any questions for Kevin? Because there's really, if you look at this, there's none. Okay. Well, All those in favor. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <clears throat> the biggest reason your budget is down, Kevin, is? Because um, last year we had $2,000 in there for uh, replacement equipment, and we've since purchased that equipment, mm -hmm. so that line item is no longer necessary. All right, so you saved $2,000 there. You, and was that $2,000 eaten up anywhere else? <clears throat> no, it does not. Excellent. Love it. Did you Go on. Raise Zeroed out. Zeroed out. Is there a raise in here for you? There is not. Why not? I was going to ask you to give it to me tonight. Well, how much would you like? What do you think's fair? How much are you making now? I can't remember. <laughs> and I got no basis to make an opinion. You know, I would, I would prefer that the selectmen give the raises to the employees. I would too, but I'm concerned okay. the gentleman has got and no raise well, at all. You know what else seems to be. You know what, Kevin, I think you should ask the town manager perhaps and say, you know, hey, how about a raise of one and a half percent or something next year or whatever. If you got a the squeaky wheel type of thing. Oh, you gotta okay. make a little noise. How I do get, wanna how about getting a lawnmower and donating <laughs> to the cemetery. I got enough chores to do, I don't know I'm on to let's stay on subject here. <laughs> let's stay on subject here. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Good Just answer. to make sure that we understand oh. we have a budget here of Two hundred twenty-five, two hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred fifty-eight dollars. The estimated twenty seventeen revenue, two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. Thank you very much. All those in favor of this, Mr. Chairman. I the floor, I believe. Oh, I thought you were finished. No. Continue. Were you suggesting in your comment that the budget committee would be willing to entertain an increment of this gentleman's salary should the board of selectmen chose to do so? Were you suggesting that, Mr. Chairman? I'm suggesting that the Board of Selectmen gives raises. That's what I'm suggesting. Right, and the Budget Committee would, if the Board of Selectmen made that decision, would take this up again. Correct? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, as you know, we have a final review, so if for some reason that did happen, then uh, that could happen, yes. Sure. I, would, I would look upon that kind of action as favorable. So thank I, you, Kevin. I, I would like to say that the Selectmen were kind enough earlier in the 2017 year to give me a raise earlier near the beginning of the year. Oh, so you did get a raise. Not in the oh, budget. Oh, 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 now that's a, oh, we went to the bottom of so this. So how much level. of a raise did you get, Kevin? <laughs> I got a 5% raise. 5% raise. Very good. Uh, then that sounds like, you know, a considerable chunk. It was very, um, generous. it so was very, um, and you earned it. Welcomed. You earned it. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think that necessarily we need to go incrementing beyond that, eh? Nope. I was going to see how far you were going to go. I, I, I'm, willing, I'm willing to listen to arguments to it, but uh, I'm not as, I'm not as uh, in, hold, hold on. energetic about it now that I heard the five percent already on the table. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Regina. Please. I just wanted to say yes, we did give Kevin a raise early in the yes, year, we did. five percent, well deserved. Mm -hmm. And as of October of two, he actually just showed me these figures the other day. What are the total that you brought in for uh, inspections? Um. Well, I don't have October that I gave you because those are numbers are no good now. Okay, what I have is November. as of the end of November, I brought in three hundred and ten thousand five hundred and ninety two dollars in permit fees. Good. Thank so you. I brought in pretty much a hundred thousand dollars more than my operating, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still got a month to go. So I said that make it one fifty. <laughs> Well deserved. Never enough. <laughs> no, no, I know. I know. <laughs> Kim, quickly. Just a general statement, Kevin. How much money you bring in is not a reflection of how much work you do, is it? It's how many 
inspections you need to do, how intense those inspections are. Yeah, no, that. So, yeah, yeah, I hear this argument all the time that so and so brings in so much money as if it were some reflection of how much work they do. Right. And there's no relationship between Correct. the amount of work and the amount of revenue you bring in. Right? Correct. It's the amount of work you actually do that need to, we need to measure. We're going to measure how busy you are. And I do know that you're busy. Very much so. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome. Regina? It's always nice when we can have revenues brought in for our expenses, and that's exactly what the building department did in this town. Thank you very much. All those in favor? Unanimous. Sure, Thank sir. you very much, Kevin. I'll ask you again for the amount. $222,558. The name of the line item is building inspection. Okay. Next up, Ed Tinker, assessing. Uh, did you want to do the zoning while I'm, I'm sorry. here? I'm sorry. We're going to do zoning. I, that, I have that right here. Actually, yes, I have a, an arrow pointing to it. Actually, we have uh, the line item is called planning and zoning, which I'll be happy to move for $151,652. Um, that would that would mean that Jason, why don't you come up as well, please? Because we'll be doing we'll do the zoning and then we'll immediately do the planning. Okay. I'll well, second. I have a second for Mr. Henderson on that, Bob. Are you okay with that? Need the number again? Okay. This is, this is planning it's, it's and zoning. Called, yeah. The, the name of the line is called planning and zoning, yeah. and the amount is one hundred fifty-one thousand six hundred fifty-two dollars. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to tackle the zoning first. What page on the zoning now? We have, um, what am I going to it's page 15. Um, zero, zero, and then minus 100%. Yeah. In any case, the uh, bon bottom line for the that particular little piece was $5,310. Um, that's correct. And that's down a little over, that's down over 8%. And that's the same reason why that is down is because last year they all we also had in there a line item for replacement equipment of five hundred dollars, and for the zoning board's share of the copier that we bought, right? And we purchased the copier, so we no longer okay need thank to you. have that in there. Thank you. Very and that's much. the reason why that's dropped. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Any discussion? From the board, seeing none. Okay, we're done with zoning. We're going to move right on to uh, planning. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you good very night, much for a good job. Done. Okay, planning. Here we are. Welcome. Thank you. Good. So, are you by yourself tonight? I am by myself tonight. Okay. Representing the planning. All right. Place. So, if you would please, um, Jason, and you have. You have one or two things that we're going to be going over. Yes. Um, would you like me to run down where we do have changes from last year? Yeah. Let's do the uh, planning board first. I, for some reason, I, I had put you together with zoning, and I thought right. It's just didn't yeah. realize that it was one line. Our, ours is just planning board. It's one line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. So within our, all of our line items, we do have three changes, uh, three um, line items that have changed from last year. Um, this, um, the first one being regular wages. Um, the planning board had proposed a uh, increase of 3% over the previous year to provide for cost of living adjustment for both the town planner and office manager positions. Um, that was uh, replaced with a 2% increase when the selectmen reviewed the budget uh, recently. Um, so that brings it to that 151-171 overall figure that you mentioned earlier. Um, that's a less than 1% overall increase from our budget last year, figuring that number. Um, under staff development, that line item, we're proposing an increase from 1240 to 1500. Uh, the purpose of that increase is to accommodate um, attendance at required continuing education programs uh, for the certified floodplain manager credential, which I just earned this year, um, and also for training opportunities for our office manager. Um, there's some nice opportunities on the American Planning Association through the American Planning Association, such as webinars through the website and workshops that would be of interest to help uh, Lori, my office manager, out with um, uh, topics of interest such as accessory dwelling units and things that have been um, hot topics um, that we've been reviewing. Um, under replacement equipment, the other change is a decrease. That's from 2,600 to 1,000. Like Kevin had spoken about earlier, the uh, copier that we were um, the $2,000 of that uh, cost there. That copier did come in under budget, I may note. Um, 
between all departments, it was a five thousand dollar total. Our share was um, three thousand. Um, the copier was about four thousand dollars, I believe. So we were under budget there. Um, aside from that, it's the same as last year. Um, I would note that this has been a very busy year in the planning office. Um, while we're not a revenue generating department, as of October 31st of this year, we're at 29,530, which is an increase from 24,178 the same time last year. We've had a lot of applications come through. We've been very busy and uh, lot, lots to review. Uh, 2018 looks the same way. We look to be busy without, we're not slowing down. Um, we're looking ahead, for example, for a long overdue process of updating our master plan, so I'd like to note that. Um, so we're, we're definitely plugging ahead and planning. So Thank you. I'd be happy so, to entertain any questions about our budget. Okay, so Jason, it's you and Laurie as the employees. Yes. Okay. Um, any questions from anybody here on Sunny? Yeah. I see a couple of lines that are interesting. You've got, you've got a line, legal expense, zero. Right. The one that I'm wondering about is... The grants. There must be some grant money out there that you're. We are, and, and, and I mean, we're we're pursuing those. I'm looking at those regularly. When we do obtain grants, the grants are that money is placed under that line item. Um, you know, we've had uh, grants that we've had in the past with um, our uh, community rating system work, and uh, also some work with RPC. Uh, when we do receive new grants, that fund, those funds will be put under that line item. Yeah. Uh, more than way. Yeah. Okay. Done. Thank you very much. Any other? Seeing none, those in favor, raise your hands. Okay. Those not in favor? I may have made an error in my motion. How is that, Tim? For the, for the total. I was adding up planning board and, and zoning board, Christy. Help me out, please. <coughs> I believe that total should be 156,481, right? Yeah. Zoning was. Yes, you, I think you made the motion on the detail page, and that didn't. Um, no, I just include, made. Yeah, I just added that it up. That didn't include the adjustment that was made. So, if I may be allowed to restate the motion, the amount. Okay, rescind my motion, make a new motion if you prefer. Go ahead. For one hundred fifty-six thousand four hundred eighty-one dollars. Four hundred eighty-one. That's for planning and zoning. One. Did you get that? that uh, did you get that, Barbara? One fifty-six four eighty-one. One fifty-six four eighty-one. Right. Yep. I'll second. Okay. Thank all you those for your understanding. Most certainly. You don't usually make mistakes. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. You too. Thank you. Um, Ed, somehow Jason was able to get in there before you. <laughs> but right. you're next on the list. Okay. Come on up. I'm going to see if you guys are going to treat me as nice as you have everybody else. Oh, we're going to. Believe me. Mr. E Chairman. Yes, sir. Ed, as you know, is assessing. <clears throat> yes, he is. Assessing is a subline item under finance. Yes. So I assume we'll just be discussing it tonight and, and approving it when we finish up with finance as a whole. Is that correct? Yes, and as um, as you pointed out before the meeting started, the tax collector is also um, under that. Sublight is here. Right. And so both of the assessor will be going through here, just as you know we normally would. I didn't know this before, but, so. But we won't be um, we try to learn something new every year. making a motion on the actual um, financial, financial administration, though, that particular line, just new, new until new next year? week. Yeah, what we're doing, Ed, is we're, we're, past, we're making motions only for line items. No, no, no. I'm saying me <laughs> under... I usually my own. No, he's doing it under the DRA form as opposed right. to how our... Like, oh, okay. Which is the only definition for line items there is. Legal. But don't get confused. So We're still going good. Under finances. Okay, so it, it's a subline item. Okay, we have it. We're a subline item too. Don't worry about no. it. We <laughs> make go. It's just what I need. <laughs> Tim, did oh. you make a motion on this? I can get. No, there's no motion because it's a subline item. Oh, that's right. It's a subline. We're going to just discuss it. Yes. Okay. okay. So if you would please discuss. Well, um, well the budget uh, this year has has gone up 1.62 percent from last year. The reason for that are two line item changes. One, of course, is salaries. Uh, there was a 1.65 percent uh, raise uh, for the three employees, um, and uh, under data processing, the vision uh, yearly uh, contract to support our uh, seats with the camera system uh, went up 160 dollars. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two changes in the budget okay. for this year. 
That's pretty simple. Any um, any questions for, for Mr. Tinker? From anybody here? Seeing none. All those in favor? Nothing. No motion, Mr. Chairman. Oh, that's great. Right. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. That was much. fun. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Yeah, where's my theater? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Donna Bennett, please, from the Tax Collector's Office. So Donna will be doing <coughs> the same thing. Correct. We will be discussing, but not voting tonight. Okay. okay. So <coughs> I see that you have a very small, very modest... My budget's always really small. Oh, it's <laughs> wonderful. So would you like to discuss it? Um, real quick, I have a few line items that have dropped. A couple stayed the same. The one that went up would be the elected officials wages, which had a 3% raise, but was reduced to a 2% raise from the selectmen. Um, I wish I could give my deputy a raise, but I can't because she's a um, part of the union. So her um, wages are the same. Mm -hmm. Overall, the budget's down $660. Yeah, most well, certainly is minus zero point six three. Any um, anybody have any questions for Donna? Any comments? Any comment? So this is one of a number of examples where the selectmen have budgeted for a raise for elected officials. Is that the end of your comment? That is. Thank you very much. Try to make it brief. It's <laughs> very brief. Thank you very much for coming in tonight. Okay. Good We're night. all set. Okay. See how easy it is? Now, that, let's see who's number. Okay, conservation, Jay, please come up. Mr. Chip. Yes, sir. Christy, help me out. Best I can figure out is this line item is called Administration and Purchasing of Natural Resources. I'm on my DRA form with me, so I won't comment. Want to check this? Where it's going to go. Four, is six, that where it was last year? Yeah, 4611 to 4612. 4611, yes, then I would agree. The DRA calls it. Get this now, two minutes. Administration and purchasing of natural resources. How about that, Jay? We learned something new every time you come here. Okay. Every time. <laughs> and the... Uh, so, Tim, did you make a motion? I did not because no. that's the one thing I didn't put the damn number on, so I don't have it readily handy. So I'll have to look at the book. Okay, it happens to be 35,573. Yeah, I so move. Second. Second. Moved by Tim, seconded by Mike. That's 35,573. Thank you. That's what we have here. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to um, talk about a little sure. bit, please? Um, our... Budget this year is a $48 increase from last year, net. Uh, there have been four changes in individual line items to come up with that. The first is a 1.5% salary increase for our conservation coordinator, which was done when other non-union employees got the 1.5%. Uh, so that was an increase of four forty-seven, four hundred forty-seven dollars. Could, could I interrupt for a minute? Sure. I'm I'm so sorry. Um, could you introduce yourself? I. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm Barbara Renau. I'm the current chair of the commission. Okay, and then of course Jay Denyan. What is your title, Jay? I'm a member. I don't just have a member. title. I'm a okay. member of the commission. Aren't you a commissioner? Well, I'm a member of the commission, <laughs> and I'm here because the conservation coordinator couldn't make it this evening. Thank you very much. Okay. He's Pinch hitting. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Please continue. Okay. Um, okay, so that's number one. Um, number two, <coughs> and that was a plus. Um, last year we contributed to the, um, the equipment, the computer equipment, the copier in the building department, uh, $500, so... Uh, we uh, dropped that figure from 500 to 100, which we use for a printer cartridge for Rayan's printer. Mm. Um, so there was a minus 400 there. When we had to put the money into computer supplies for the copier, we took money out of professional services. So last year we had just $400 for <coughs> professional services, and we bumped that back up to the 800 that that we usually have 
available for wetland scientists and uh, stormwater management experts and that sort of thing when we need them um, for applications. And uh, for several years, we have been paying for the lighting of the old stage road bridge, but that was moved this year by management <coughs> to another category with other lighting. Mm -hmm. So that was a minus 400. So there was a plus and a minus and a plus and a minus just moving things around. But the net increase is $48 or a tenth of a percent. Right. Excellent. Thank you very okay. much. That's wonderful. Anybody have anything for con uh, Sonny? Yeah, a couple of points. I see on the grants zero and there's a land acquisition zero. Any reason? Because um, you've got a one article, you're oh. looking for twenty thousand dollars. Right, and that's the conservation fund, which doesn't fall uh, under our administrative budget. I really. That's controlled by the town treasurer. So when warrant article money is voted, that goes, that's sent by finance over to the town treasurer, who manages that account for the acquisition of land. So it's a separate. Area separate from this, the the uh, administrative portion of, of our account. For qualification. All set, Sonny. Yeah, well, Thank yeah. you very much, Tim. So we have this line item called administration and purchasing of natural resources. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is another line item called uh, forty six nineteen fifty called other conservation. It's zero. So that tells me, based on the, the law that says you can't do anything that has a zero to it, you cannot do any other conservation. You can only do administration and purchasing of natural resources. That's my comment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anything else from anybody? Seeing none, those in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much for coming in. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks, you too. Okay. Good seeing you again, Jay. Nice to meet you. All right. So that takes us to... Um, nine, nine, let's see, library. Is Amanda here, yep. please? Yes, she is. Okay. Now, the library is easy, Mr. Chamber, because it is a <coughs> line item all by itself. I know. Thank you, Tim. And so I move library. I'll second it. Which is account 4550 for 846439 bucks, also known as dollars. That's the default second that. <coughs> <coughs> Is that default? Is that default? Yeah. Did yeah. I make another error? I, I think you missed the word. I am getting old. Six, I'll tell you what. How about eight six nine? What it was? One oh one. Thank you. Uh, so I will make my motion for library for eight hundred and sixty nine thousand one hundred and one dollars. Okay, Barbara. That's correct. Mr. Hendon, sec second. Two second. Okay. Thank you okay. for picking that up, Mr. Cook. All right. You're so welcome. welcome, Amanda. Thank you. Um, so, if you would like to please go over your budget and highlight anything that you think might, uh, that you'd like to talk about, and then, we'll, then we'll do some questions. The okay. changes are simple this year because they're all driven by one thing. Um, we have uh, reclaimed a full-time position. Uh, in 2013, we had a full-time person leave. At that time, we chose to try working with two part-time positions instead. Mm -hmm. um, that went on for several years until this year one of the part-time people um, gave their notice and they were leaving and so we reviewed how those two positions had, had worked how that supported the department that those positions were in and decided that we wanted to revert to the full-time position again so that is the only change where the regular wages are up and the part-time is down that's the switch right. the health insurance is a new plan that we'll be adding for um, this employee and um, in what's called the the appropriation aspect um, we made cuts that amounts to about five thousand dollars in an effort to make this change as small as possible okay. and that's the sum of it really yeah I, I have a, when I was going through this at home I, I first of all you have a breakdown um, <coughs> the, the one thing that the merit pay. Did you decide that nobody should get merit so, pay any longer? Correct. The, no, um, for 2018, again, knowing that this change was going to be a big bump in the way our, our whole entire budget looked, 
we held everything as steady as we could just to uh, facilitate this one page. Well, thank no you very much. Thank you. Um, all right. I don't have anything else. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Sonny? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I do want to, Sonny, I just want to mention one thing. I, I know I don't need to tell you this, but <laughs> let's stay on subject. Okay, that goes this to everybody. Is, this is I know it. Go ahead. Please uh, go ahead. President's report on the funds on the gross budget. I prepare one and I turn it in. The town does not use that, and so they don't ever well, do anything with it. Why don't you tell us so the public will be aware? So, let us see. Because we didn't receive it. Be up substantially. No. So in addition to the tax dollars that we are asking for, we are anticipating um, contributions to the library through donations, replacement of books, um, income generating equipment, um, $15,251. And so that would also be money that would go into our accounts next year for 2018. That's not what I'm asking, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking the has trust money. Yes. Invested in Vanguard. Yes. Why don't you just give us the gross totals and we'll, and we'll be on your way. You know, I didn't bring it. That money is in the custody of the trustees of the library, and it's not part of our budget. We don't spend it. But it's part of the town's. And it's in the annual report every year, so it's not, it, it is available oh, to you. Fred, do you, do you have, uh, Christine, do you have? The trustees. Mr. Chairman. That, that's, a, that's a, that's a, that's a fun report. topic that we should be discussing when we talk about funds. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sonny, just to clarify, okay? We have scheduled at the next meeting the trustees of the trust fund. No, that, that, that's not the, that. That falls. This is totally separate. That, but it's falls and under the trust. The RSA requires gross budgeting. We go through this every year. Right? We do, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we had a funds discussion at our last meeting, Sonny. Why didn't you bring it up then? Hmm? We had a funds discussion at our well, last this meeting. This isn't funds. This is part of the library's fund. funding. It's funds. funds. But it's we totally talked about separate all funds from the, the our last meeting. We talked about all funds at the last meeting. It was... Okay, okay, Sonny. Okay. Off... Okay, are we... Can, are we done? can you supply it for us? What are you asking for? The amount that's in the trustees? Right. The, yeah. The trust it's fund probably right 130. Now? Do you have an approximation more. off the top of your head of what it might sure. be? Sure. 112, 116,000. Okay. 112 to 116,000. Has it gone off? <coughs> May I make a point? Hold on. I, I, does that satisfy you, Sonny? Well, and I'd like, I'll, I'll ask for a treasurer's report. Never mind. Uh, go ahead, David. I specifically remember last year that this fund was mentioned because we wanted windows, three windows. And then they wanted no, money no, and they didn't want. Is that the fund you're talking about? No, no. They have trustee money <coughs> that's invested in Vanguard. The reason I know about it is because I set it up. Okay. The RSA for library requires gross budgeting. It has to, it should be disclosed. It was disclosed last year. I'll ask for a treasurer's report. And, oh, oh, okay. It's a public document. I thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Anything else? I see none. Those in favor, Excuse please. Oh. Uh, the reason why we're up on health insurance by over 31% is because we added an employee. Is that right? Full time employee. A, a plan, yeah, one plan. Yeah. One, one, one person. It's the same plan. Yes. Okay. And life insurance is up over 9% for the same reason, I assume? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, all those in favor? And we have everybody, all those opposed, everybody except... Uh, I'm, I'm abstaining. And Sonny is abstaining. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight. There are eight of us here tonight. Um, thank you very much, Amanda. We're thank all you. set. Thank you. Have a, have a great evening. Good job. Um, let me see now. That was... We have um, the Diana Martin with the Parks Recreation, please.
come up. And while you're coming to the table, I wanted to point out, Barbara, to you that um, Bob Ladd and Danielle Augustine <coughs> are excused. Um, I noticed that Ginny's not here tonight again as well, but I don't, she didn't call me, but, um, but both Bob Ladd and Danielle, and please make note of Barbara that they were excused as well last, on Tuesday, okay? And just for everybody's information, if you get, if you have the flu, stay home. Just give me a call and I'll, you'll be excused, okay? There's no problem with that. Go ahead, Tim. Thank you, Dr. LaBranche. You're welcome. <laughs> Can I move uh, parks and recreation? I wish you would. For $249,395. Did, right Did I get the fault again? 265. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, yeah. Pretty good at Help that. me out then. Make 265 118. Sorry. Again. 265 118. And I'll second. Okay. Okay, moved by Mr. Jones, seconded by... No, Mr. Henderson, I seconded. Oh, okay, yeah, moved by Mr. Henderson, seconded by Mr. Jones. So, hi. How are you? Um, would you like to go over your budget for us? Yep, there's Please. not a lot of changes, but there is one thing that I do want to discuss with you tonight, but um, the big changes that you'll see is gasoline and grounds and fields we had to we had to add some stuff in for grounds and fields for buildings maintenance so those are the big changes we also added in this is part of the parks department we um added in a uh, a second seasonal employee and both of those seasonal employees got a higher rate to go with public works because we were offering one at ten dollars per hour for <coughs> 740 hours and now we're offering two at fourteen dollars an hour to go along with public works Great. and the thing i guess i wanted to discuss with you and talk with you about is the two part-time parks employees that we have pretty much year-round the i had put in what i had done was i had tried to put them in at x amount of hours for the summer season and then move them back down in the winter season and I was told that I couldn't do that so that's what you were originally looking at I had also given them pay raises because their pay raise are way way low so when it went to the selectmen's board they had removed the pay raises and moved them back to part-time employees just 28 hours but by doing that they those two did not get a raise at all so now this are uh, not the foreman but the other almost year-round parks employee would be making less money than the two seasonal guys so I'm wondering if we could put in raises for those two guys because they kind of got missed everybody else that works for me got like a three percent raise yeah. and that my intention is also to give anyone that's in the revolving fund a raise okay anything else that you want to mention other than that, those are the only real changes in okay. the budget. Question, if I may. Uh, no, hold on, just yeah, you can. But hold on, just for a moment. Um, when I noticed a couple of things that under supplies and expenses, I wondered why that had gone up quite a bit. But you have a note here, additional money for uh, copy or contract. So that explains it right there, completely. Right. Okay, so that's not a mystery. The um, the other thing that gasoline, diesel, um, those are up, but that's, you have one of those, is it WAC, WIGS? What's WAC? WAC. WAC. When you bring the rest up. <coughs> so we're not going to get into that. Right, I'm just pointing out. one of the ones I pointed out the other night that has um, money that will be moved to fund 24 yeah. for her bus that has been uh, classified in the wrong place okay place. so we're, so just for everybody here right. don't get all crazy over that and then um, the grounds and fields was the other thing that went up and you, you know you have an entire list here of all the different things that you're you're doing um, was there one in particular that, that you know that you added or that just needed more well work? I put in um, skateboard maintenance again and I put in um, 
skate park maintenance, I should say, and I added the playground surfacing because I didn't have enough money to buy all that I needed uh -huh. this year. Okay. So those are kind of big ticket items in yeah. grounds and fields. Okay, thank you. That explains that completely. Um, and, and equipment maintenance is the other thing. It seems that the equipment seems to break down more often than I would like. Equipment uh, maintenance. That's the other big ticket item in that line item with this equipment. Yeah. John Deere tractor. Well, things happen. That's okay. Well, that explains it. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody? Um, anybody from any committee members have any questions or comments? Tim. So you went from these are seasonal. You went from uh, eleven to fourteen. <coughs> the, I have I have two guys I have two guys that work for me right now, mm -hmm. and they they're part time employees. One's a foreman and one's an assistant. I also have a position in the budget that was for 640 hours, just a seasonal summertime employee, like, you know, a mm -hmm. high school kid or a college kid, something, right. to work um, during the summers, but no one applied for the job. It was, and that job was offered at $10 an hour. So we desperately need help in the parks department. So um, I tried to raise some hours for them. I, I really need a part-time, I mean, a full-time person down there, but I tried finagling it to see if I could get some more hours down there and I you know also gave them a raise because they're making less money than some of the other people that work for me and they're outside in the parks and they should be making something comparable to what the public works employees make so that's what I had done what the solution was was to put them back at 28 hours and to raise to add another employee so there'd be another seasonal employee so there would be four employees but in order to attract some people to the jobs for the summer, we also put the rate, put a pay, pay rate the same as something that someone would be working for public works. If so the two... 10 to $14 To an 10 hour to 14 For all four seasonal employees? No. Okay. Well, it's for, two, for the two seasonal employees. The other two are part-time. Okay. So what I was saying to you is... By Slow down now. I can only assume okay. this so quickly. <laughs> I'm getting Sorry. old, if you haven't noticed already. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> So we've got two seasonal employees. And two part-time right, employees. And you're incrementing their, the pay for those positions 40% from 10 to right. $14. And we didn't have anyone in those positions last year. It's the part-time guys that... And that what happened when there was no one in those positions? Right? We're just behind on work. We don't, we don't What have, kind of work didn't get done? Uh, we have signs that needed to go up. We have... The only, we have uh, the playground. We had pieces to go on the playground that didn't go on yet. Um, we had bleachers that USS Hampton came and built for us mm -hmm. because we didn't have time to do it. This There's a ton of work that didn't get done. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to play catch-up right now. So hopefully... So previously you had one seasonal, is that what I heard? Yeah. And now you're moving to two seasonal. Correct. But we have two part-time right now that are working. And they're the two that they do, they remove their pay increase. So I'd like to at least give them something. Well, I don't want to deal with the seasonal right now, as I'm trying to understand. We went. I understand the the, the logic behind moving from ten to fourteen dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. What I don't get yet is why we're going from one to two seasonal employees. What's causing that extra workload or need for additional labor? I should say. Well, I used to have five. Five seasonal. Employees. I used to have five. Well, what happened? Well, they got moved around and taken away and gone to public works or whatever. So now no, I'm I'm down to to one, and I didn't even I wasn't even able to to so fill that like position. So farm system for DPW? Pretty much <laughs> farm system. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're going back to two seasonal. You know, you had five once upon a time. How long ago was that? Probably seven or eight years ago. Yeah, and do you still have a need for five? I don't think I, I don't know if I have a need for five. Mm -hmm. I do need, I, I need more employees than what I have is pretty much what I need. Okay, so the, the seasonal uh, positions are now two, and they're going from $10 an hour, the starting rate at McDonald's, to 14 right. <coughs> yes. the approximate starting rate at DPW. I Correct. Guess you're okay. Correct. Got it. Now the part-time, you've got two part-timers. Correct. And because we're giving the seasonal people more money, you need to give the part-timers more money? No, I, they, they ended up not getting a, an, even a 3% raise. And now the one that's the assistant would be making less money than the seasonal employee. That's clearly not right. 
Yeah, it just kind of all rolls up. It doesn't. Right. But how does that affect the part-timers, uh, the non-seasonal part-timers, relative relative pay? I mean, do we have the same problem there? Hold on, hold on, Tim. Tim, hold on just a minute. Sure. I'm sure I don't understand that. Okay, this is getting very confusing. <laughs> yeah. I, just tell me what you're asking for. You're asking for a 3% raise for those two I would people. like to have those two guys get some form of a raise. Uh, what Something. are we talking about? Those two guys being part-timers. Yes. <laughs> so That work year-round. Yes. Right. Okay, what are they getting now? So the, the assistant is making 1304 Okay. He should make, be making at least fifteen dollars an hour if he's going to make more than the okay, part that Do you have a percentage? Or I don't know what that percent would be. Okay, but you have. Hold I'd have on. to. You want to move to fifteen? Okay, That's hold on. I'm, hold on just for a minute, yeah. both of you. Regina, you as a select person, do you have well, something? Yeah, that you well, yeah. Well, first of all, this is the first I'm hearing about this. I just think it got, I, I just noticed it myself. Like, no, that's oh, fine. <laughs> I, no, believe me, nothing. But this is first of all operations, and then we just two sections ago, whatever we reviewed, we just said how raises are going to be left with the selectmen, and now we're taking it up. So not consistent to me. And I mean, I'm all for your budget right now. I wish that. She's you know, I'm point. just finding out about this now, You've so I will very, not be voting on this And you this know tonight. what? No, no. You make a good point. If we vote. You make a very just good so point. You know. We're not going okay. to. We're not going and to. And it's nothing against. We're going to no, do. I get it. Budget. Okay, we're going to do what I suggested before, and that is that the selectmen give raises. Right, okay? that's fine. That's the way it should work. So yep. if you would please approach the town manager, yep. he can talk to the selectmen, and then we'll, we'll go from there. We're going to have to. We can approve what we have in front of us tonight, and then if. You give raises. When we do our reconsideration of the budget, we right. will, of course, at that point, that reconsider That's perfectly it. fine. I just, I I just recognized it and said I can't just yeah. let that go. No, no, I understand. Guys, so. when, I was, when I was looking at this at home, I, I was getting confused just looking <laughs> at it because, you you know, because of the right. adding and then subtracting and, <clears throat> and making people, they go from, you know, down to seasonal and then back up to. Yeah. It was seemed a little confusing to me as well. So I think, Tim, it's best. That's my explanation. That's, right, that's, that's fine. I didn't mean yes, to overstep. But, I didn't but mean to you, overstep. No, 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 no. That's okay. We're 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 learning as we go here. Okay. So you understand where we are now, Tim? No, I'm getting there. So the two seasonal employees you would like to see move up from 1304 to 15, right? No, seasonal employees oh, are. Me, the two part timers. One of them, and one. the other one would be moving up higher. Well, the is, foreman would be. Where's the foreman at now? Sixteen. Sixteen thirty. Okay. Again, again. I, 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 I'm trying to get but, information here. Yeah. And what do you what do you think is appropriate now for that? For his position, yeah. what do I this, think is appropriate? Is, we should be talking. This shouldn't be here. This, we should. Yeah, we should be talking about this. All right. Is I'm going to stop. The hold place, on. The time. I'm going to hold on. Hold on. I want to know what her thoughts are. I think that's quite valid. She considers the budget uh, 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 underfunded for her needs. I want to know what her thoughts are behind that consideration. I'm not making any motions to make changes. I simply want to have information. Now, would you give me your thoughts on what he, what you think he ought to be raised to? Well, what I had put in before was I was hoping for um, at least $19 an Thank hour. Thank you. Jenna, um, I prefer you didn't talk about this anymore. Talk to the, I, talk I to the you know, go to, talk I've, to Fred, have them talk to the selectmen. And then that's where we'll go from that's there. Fine. Please, I, just I know you answered his question. <laughs> very polite, thank you very yeah. much. But that's the best I think <coughs> we need to do. Okay, Tim, anything else? I mean, I have the floor back again. Yes, you do. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just I, not I am done. Okay, thank you very much, Tim. Um, Sonny, you had something you wanted yeah, to ask? Yeah, I had a Diana? question. Parking uh, lot revenue. I don't see it. It's not topic. It's we're that's in parks and recreation right now. Parking lot is next. Okay. Okay, anything else for this section? Seeing none, um, you have, let me see, the next thing, parking administration. Excuse me. You oh, know, I'm sorry. vote on this? Or oh, on budget. sorry. Thank or you very much, <coughs> Jeff. You're always such a help to me. <laughs> Except when I'm being a pest, right? Well, no, <laughs> sometimes. Um, so who made the motion? Mr. Henderson. Henderson, Mr. Henderson and Tim. Well, second second. Okay, all those in favor of this motion? And it's unanimous. Thank Mr. you very Chairman. much. No, yes. I, I'm abstaining. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm sorry. I missed. Uh, I, I missed uh, Regina. Sorry, seven. Passing seven. It as it was presented. Zero. To us. 
Seven uh, past. Stated earlier, I would be abstaining from this budget tonight. Okay, thank oh. you, Regina. Um, Regina abstained, Barbara. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Can I make a motion that the Budget Committee encourages the selectmen to relook at the payroll on Fox and Recreation? Well, I think. Not making any recommendations, just encouraging just them to look at it again. You're making a motion? Yes. Is there a second to that motion? Seeing none? No. Sorry. Okay, moving right. along. Uh, parking <coughs> administration. What tab is that? Is that under the same? No. That's under yes, it um, is. the general. General, okay. General. Did you say 57, Mike? Uh, yeah, but I don't think I <laughs> What page are we on for that one? Does anybody uh, have a page number? Somebody said 57. That's right. That's right. That's oh, geez, I'm, I was <coughs> the wrong one. It has a tabby up in the front. 18. It's right before. Oh, it's way up at the oh, front. Way okay. Parking administration right in front. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a, the pinkish color, maroon color tabby. Yep. Uh, thank you very much, Christy. Actually, well, should be page 19. 19, there we go. And in front of it is the... Yeah, okay, page 19, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Here we are. Here. So, parking administration. Would somebody like to make a motion? I'll make the motion. Thank you, Brian, for... Second. Okay. 84,567. <coughs> Thank yeah. you, Barbara. Did you get that number? Yes, sir. Okay, and seconded by Mr. Plouffe. All right, would you like to um, talk about that a little bit, Diana? Sure. As you can see, the budget hasn't really moved much. The differences that you would see here is the lease goes up $1,000 every year for the Church Street parking lot. And so that's part of it. And then in the seasonal wages, I gave all of them like a three percent raise yes and that again is that ten to fifteen dollar or not fifteen yeah they're, they're at ten and they are they going up to uh, yeah a couple of them are a little bit higher than that because of tenure and stuff right exactly yeah and um supplies and expenses i know there's a reason that that went down so much because it's only a small amount of money but but it looks like it went down a lot, 28 point, uh, minus 28.57. Um, that has to do with, I don't know, I think the placards that we purchased for the leases. Uh-huh. Now that, that lease, uh, <coughs> I see it says five-year contract, and that's going up, I remember when that all happened, um, it, is there a ceiling? It goes up $1,000 until it's $25,000. I thought. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody um, have any questions for Diana? Sonny? Yeah. Uh, Bob Ladd, when he was, said the parking revenue was down for this year, I was just curious to see why. Wait, hold on, hold on. Bob Ladd's not here. And I that's know. The, that's the village district, okay? That's right. So that's not... Different yeah, that's a different <coughs> parking lot. But he was talking parking revenue. Bob Ladd was talking about the parking revenue for the village district. Oh, okay. not this is the, not, town, this is the, the town's parking, parking lot. Okay. It's different, Sonny. Okay. And this is not, um, this is expense. This isn't revenue that we're right. looking at right, right. here. Right. Well, well, okay. So um, do you have any comment or questions about? No. Oh, okay. That At the bottom of page 19, the accurate, there's, a, there's a number there for yeah. the estimated revenues from parking lots. It's 438,252. We um, made more than that. Yeah. Okay, so that's not, well that was, this book was, was created back in it's July or something. It's a lot of time. It's estimated. It's yeah. But yeah. that was quite a long time ago, right. and of course you had August, September, October, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the exact number because we just. The October revenue was at $439,666 from the October financials. Oh, okay, so that's, that is actually very close, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, all right, anybody else? Okay. Oh, Tim. What was the uh, amount moved? 84,576. Yeah. 567. Sorry, I'm looking right at it. 84,567. 
Yeah. Really, I'm reading 84,567. Is that right? Yeah, that's what I just said. Is that what you have? 84,567? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And just as a note, the line item is actually called 499, 4199. 4199. 4199. And it's called Other General Government. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Well, the motion needs to read that, in my opinion. Ryan? I will submit that okay. change. Okay. Did you get that, Barbara? Is the only thing to be mentioned other general government in this yeah. motion? Yeah. Okay. Account number is 4199. You might want to throw that in just for fun. Okay. Anything else, uh, Tim? Anybody else have anything? No. no? Okay. All those in favor? And it appears to be unanimous. Thank you very much. And I think we're done. All right. Sorry for causing <coughs> controversy. <Okay. laughs> and we'll be. It was all my fault. No, no. We'll, we'll be fault. talking with you. <coughs> we'll be talking with you. <coughs> Thank you for coming in. Have a good night. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Okay. Now, um, my job. we have two things left. Mark, you're going to be coming up real soon. But Fred, <coughs> we have on here. Um, let me see, government buildings. Could we just go through that quickly and get that out of the way? Because that's a simple one. I hope. General government buildings is actually this building. Yes, of that's course. What the Chairman, appropriation is for. Government buildings account 4194 is a line item. And I believe the number is 102382. Would you like Correct. to, are you making a motion? And that is what I'm making a motion to. That Mr. Sloth has just seconded it. Okay, so Tim made the motion <coughs> and Mr. Ploof seconded it. Did you get the number, Barbara? 102382. Yeah, called government building. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Welch. The only change in this uh, appropriation request is for building <coughs> maintenance. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, problems with the roof in this building. And it's going to cost us between three and five thousand dollars a year for the next ten years, in order to keep it going. It's starting to blister, mm -hmm. uh, and as opposed to <coughs> removing the entire roof and redoing the entire roof all the way down to the boarding, uh, we are trying to save it so we don't have to have all that expense at one time. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, we've shown a number of blisters. We've had a number of leaks in the last year. And we have our person come in and, and check everything, and, and they've been in and done about $3,500 worth of work this year. Uh, we expect that there'll be another $3,500 to $4,000 worth of work in the early spring, and then some more work in the summer, they're telling us. Uh, we also recently uh, had to replace, because of cracking, uh, all of the stairs on the spiral staircase going upstairs. Uh, several of those staircases are, are wood, wood frames are broken. They're sitting on top of a metal frame, as you probably know, and they are broken and cracked, uh, and there's, some of them are split right down the middle, so they're no longer stable. They, they actually teeter when you walk on them, so we've closed it off. The, three, the two areas that are <coughs> the most serious concern are being replaced this week, and they'll be recarpeted next week, the beginning of the week, and uh, next year we're going to have to replace about four more. We're doing them as they fail. Uh, as opposed to just stripping the entire thing down and just making a mess. Uh, we can do it a little bit at a time and save on that expense. It's, it's not dangerous. We just need to coordinate it off when the work needs to be done. Yeah. I think that um, you've got to keep the building up. You've got, you've got maintenance that has to be done. Is it a flat roof, a rubber roof membrane type of thing? It's a uh, oil and tar. Oh. Uh, <coughs> Stubble. Yeah, it's, gravel it's, finish, right? it's a gravel finish. Well, that sounds uh, like if it has to be removed, we are going to have to go to a membrane. Yeah. No question yeah. about it. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, anybody have any questions for Fred? Go ahead, Tim. I, as you're doing these section by section and going right down to the border, you're just re retopping it. Well, <clears throat> we're getting blisters. <clears throat> uh, and what they're doing is they're taking the blister out and redoing that particular portion. Okay. And we're making sure we flash around all the protrudence in the buildings. Okay. And we have a number of... Uh, furnaces, I'll call them, but heating units and air conditioning units on the top of the roof. We make sure those are properly flashed and sealed every, every time they go up. Yeah. Flat roofs can be a real constant problem. They are. Even when, even when you replace them as a whole, yeah. you still end up having problems. So That's replacing correct. it by piecemeal probably 
makes more sense than it might otherwise sound. It, so. Actually, it does because <laughs> we are actually sealing the roof for those areas where it's it's weak. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome, Tim. Anybody else? Yeah, has the building inspector looked at the building? <laughs> yes, he has. That's why we're repairing it. Yeah, that's right. All set, Sonny? Yep. Thank you very much. Um, anybody else have anything for Mr. Welch? Seeing none, all those in favor? <coughs> and it is unanimous. Thank you Thank very you. much, sir. All right. Now we're going to go right into legal and have lots of fun. Uh, if you'd please come up, Mark. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Very good. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Yes, sir. Legal is a line item called 4153. Something <coughs> called legal expense. Yes, I see that. Okay. And uh, all right, so I would move it. I hope I got the right number, Christy. I'm watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. 220000 Nice to have a safety net. $188. That's right. Got that, Barbara? 220188. Legal expense. Okay. Do second. we have a second? Yeah, Mr. Plouffe is going to second that, Barbara. All right. Let's go right into this budget. Okay. The 2018 budget of the legal department, as you see, in terms of the uh, lines and sublines, is broken down into two sections. First section is the town <coughs> attorney's office, which is basically the internal workings. And the second part is legal expenses, which is the external that is outside counsel and outside expenses. And so, uh, as you can see, the two major increases that over last year are reflected uh, have to do first with the outside counsel fees, and the second has to do with litigation expenses. Um, I have given the board a uh, memorandum which includes the list of <coughs> the items of litigation that are currently pending and which uh, are basically the, the fact of them is public information and uh, who is handling those by way of either inside or outside. And I have also uh, broken down for you the uh, figure of outside legal counsel that has been paid through October 31, 2017, by firm, uh, because I understand that you you have the uh, outside, you have the uh, the, Oct the October monthly financials, and even though the budget book that you have, page 11 and 12, uh, reflects through end of September, uh, I wanted to uh, report to you based on the latest monthly statement, and then the. Uh, third item uh, that I've given you ha is a chart that shows the history of the legal department and the expenditures uh, starting with the first year of the in-house legal department 2003. Uh, just to uh, highlight the two um, major areas of increase, um, if you look historically at that last chart, and I have extra copies if anybody doesn't have them. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Um, you will see that the outside counsel expenses uh, fluctuate over time uh, depending on, on, on events and uh, demands. And so uh, when you're looking at, for instance, uh, periods of time, um, in uh, 2005 forward under labor and council and collective bargaining, uh, you will see that there were uh, large uh, years in terms of dollar expenditures. And then in recent times, those have uh, dramatically decreased. Um, I wanted to indicate to you that for those particular items, uh, there are um, the, the decrease over time reflects the fact that the labor matters are being handled largely in-house with a combination of the um, assistant town manager and myself. Uh, in particular, collective bargaining, uh, we have spent uh, zero dollars <coughs> this year. Uh, and that has been uh, largely the case for the last two budget cycles before. Um, 
also other labor costs uh, actual so far are zero. And that uh, is also a reflection of, of how much we're handling uh, in-house. Now, there are, um, for various reasons, uh, outside counsel is therefore uh, handling outside counsel, uh, outside counsel matters de as determined by the Board of Selectmen um, for any number of reasons. Uh, but um, we're in one of those uh, cycles of cases, as you can see here, where, um, where there are several matters in which outside counsel is involved and which uh, will be continuing for, for a period of time. Um, and the figure that you see here for outside counsel, the increase of 30,000 up to 60,000, is basically my best judgment of how to budget for that, not knowing exactly what level of effort is going to be made, what cases may be resolved, and therefore it will not entail further expenditures. And uh, that's just my best judgment. Likewise, uh, when you get to the litigation expenses, the increase of uh, from uh, 7387 to 15000 is likewise a reflection of what kind of um, mostly expert expenses that are going to be involved in pursuit of those cases. And just by way of an example for this year, uh, you may have noticed that a number of matters uh, have involved uh, the expertise of Professor Thomas Ballestero from UNH in such cases as the large groundwater withdrawal permit that Aquarian Water is seeking, uh, the fact that uh, Aquarian Wells have shown uh, PFCs in, in levels that are of concern, and uh, outside expertise of Professor Ballestero, who's a widely renowned expert, has been very important. Um, in the case of the PFCs and where they're coming from, we've needed to get the attention of EPA and the DES uh, to, to uh, represent the town's interests, and it, was it has been critical to have Professor Ballestero involved. And so of the amount that you have, that has been expended to date, um, Professor Ballestero uh, has uh, been paid $6,213 of, of that amount. And uh, given the items that are uh, <coughs> pending on the list of pending matters, uh, I would expect that several of those will continue into the future and will require uh, his involvement in particular. Um, and so that, I think, covers the two major items of increase in this budget. Uh, under the in-house, uh, that reflects a 4% increase in my salary that was already given by the Board of Selectmen effective April 1, 2017. So that is the, uh, how that carries over for a full year. Okay. And so that is that, is that budget. Thank you very much, Mark. I, Thank you. Um, I do want to say one other ahead, thing, yeah. Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind. Um, your sheet shows on the second sheet, which is page 12, <coughs> an estimated revenues for 2017 of $3,400. Mm -hmm. um, that estimated revenues figure is, uh, comes about from my department's review at the planning board's uh, request of documents such as condominium declarations, uh, easements, uh, and so forth. And uh, in actuality, that revenue projection for 2017 is very short because uh, this year uh, we've had approximately 14 matters where the planning board has assigned us to do uh, review of documents. And the kind of projects we are reviewing are of increasing complexity. And the figure that we have already credited uh, is $9,682. And that, that'll, of course, come up with revenue. In the year 2016, there were only seven such matters, and uh, they, did not, uh, they did not have the kind of complexity we're seeing now. Um, and so, uh, I, if in follow-up to what Jason Bashand had to tell you about planning, uh, we're, we're in a cycle where there's a great deal of activity, uh, which in turn entails um, 
reviews of complex documents, mm -hmm. which are done in-house. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hold on, David. Um, I wanted to mention that um, I recently watched the selectmen's meeting and the conversation, Dr. Ballastaro, uh, the PFCs, uh, Aquarian Water, <coughs> Very and 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 there the the selectmen are right on top of this and you're you're working, I think it was a sixty forty deal with Northampton, as well. Um, That's correct. And this is a very big deal, very very big deal. So, selectmen are doing a good job. You're doing a good job as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, David, you had a question. It's, or it's a caution based upon what you just said. Okay. <clears throat> to, to a mark. With the PFCs and you got this challenge from UNH and realizing he has to be paid and we're you're paying him his dues. But isn't Aquarium responsible for that? Shouldn't you be, should they pay you back? Or it's, you know, it's on their land with their water that they're charging different people for. <coughs> Aren't they responsible for those charges? Could you help me with that, please? Well, the, the thing about that is Aquarian has its own, it's a private company. It's now, as of two days ago, owned by Eversource. No longer there, in a way. They have their own uh, feelings about what they're willing to spend to address the problem. Uh, we may or may not agree with them. I think they're doing a great job in terms of studying where the PFCs are coming from. Uh, we may or may not have disagreements, and I think you may have seen that the selectmen were uh, somewhat split on the issue of, of how best at this point to approach the issue of treatment. Um, because we are dealing with the PFCs as an, an emerging contaminant. It's addressed differently throughout the country. <coughs> Some states are more sensitive to it than others. Uh, believe it or not, New Jersey is more sensitive than, than the federal government. Uh, Vermont is another. Um, it's a, it's, it's a matter of how much can you tolerate. And uh, our job, I believe, is to make sure that Aquarian is looking out not for the bottom line, but for the, the best health of its customers. Right. Likewise with the EPA. And I believe we'll, we, we are best served if we rely on our own expertise than relying on, let's say, the expertise of an EPA and or even... So you're doing it in a sense, which I hear you, and it makes sense, and I agree with what you're saying. You want to do it as a double check. You're not going to just take their numbers. You want to validate them. <coughs> Is that correct? Well, it, it, it goes a little beyond that because in, an, in a field of emerging contaminants, so-called, yeah. that's the words they use, uh, it's very easy to say that, oh, the maximum contaminant level that satisfies the federal government should give us comfort. I, I would disagree. I, I think we deserve better than that. Yeah, and um, someone like a Dr. Ballestero who appeared at the Northampton meeting of EPA lately on the Coakley landfill, I think EPA was just going to step back and say, well, they've got enough monitoring as is. But after listening to Tom, Professor Ballestero, who was the professor to several of the people who, who are involved with EPA, they said, let's have your notes and comments. And he's provided those. So I, I think being proactive in this field is really something that is, is what is needed uh, for our, our customers. And, and just one other point, it, to the extent that, that uh, Aquarian spends money on this subject, they pass that right through to the customers anyway. So it's it's a question of uh, a paying one place or another. Left hand or the right. But I totally agree with having a second opinion and coming to the right numbers because that's poisoning. You have too much of poisoning the people. Absolutely. Everybody. So I'm, I'm with you. I'm not fighting you. Oh, no, I understand. I, I appreciate I'm just trying to understand it. I appreciate all. you're giving me the chance to explain it. It's really important. Thank you. All set, David? Yes. Sonny? Yeah, uh, I attended a, a, a Rockingham planning session meeting on the water. The ES had four of their people there, okay? The, the census at, at that meeting was that the ES is going to monitor it 
the federal EPA says that it's not up to the level of <coughs> risk. There has to be a solution to Copley, which is eventually it'll, because the bottom isn't sealed, eventually they'll have to move it. But I mean, the state's monitoring, he was quite clear. He says they'll watch it, aquarium is watching it. You know, why are we suing them? We're not. Okay. But you were talking about... Uh, no, uh, Professor Ballestero, is, it's, it's under litigation expenses, but that's, that's where our expert is. That's where the expert expenses come in. It could be potential litigation, but uh, I want to give you an example. Uh, this Recently, when Eversource sought to acquire Aquarian, that acquisition came about at a time where there were many issues that we have with Aquarian. The large groundwater withdrawal permit, uh, the presence of PFCs in the wells, um, a number of other subjects that needed to be addressed. And we, we weren't sure how Eversource was going to deal with this company that they were acquiring, what their attitudes would be. So um, my office, anyway, spent a great deal of time working with Eversource and Aquarian and developed an agreement whereby we got commitments from Eversource and Aquarian to do the monitoring you're talking about, to do the uh, analysis of treatment <coughs> alternatives. And so uh, I, I, what I say to you is that it's very easy for important issues like this to get lost in the shuffle where you're just where two companies are talking about an acquisition uh, and who's going to manage things. So it was important for us to be proactive to, um, to make sure that our issues would not be left aside. Well, Eversource just bought the stock. Their aquarium is going to run under the, with their own people, and they're irresponsible. But, I mean, the issue is the state is just saying they'll monitor it. So that's not satisfactory? Well, again, this is an emerging field. PFCs are an, emer are an emerging field. And we, we have a problem here. We have wells that just starting in June, Aquarian wells, are showing a significant level <coughs> of PFC contamination. Now, the science is such that the federal government at this point, and so the state too, has set a maximum contaminant level of 70 uh, parts per trillion for two compounds. And there are hundreds of PFC compounds. Oh, yeah. And so the question is, uh, when, you, when you speak to them, they will say, oh, the levels you're seeing in these wells are less than these maximum contaminant levels. But the science is emerging. Should we be satisfied with that? I think it's important, you know, EPA's... Aquarium has closed one well. I understand that. Okay. And they're monitoring the other wells. Yes, and they're doing that with our input. And what you've got is you've got private <coughs> companies with their own bottom lines that they have to satisfy, but we here are the public that have a, a broader interest. So it's important to, to make sure that interest is taken care of, I think. Mark, I want to mention that, um, just so everybody here, um, let's try to stay with this budget. Sure. I appreciate you explaining these things. Sure. Oh, there were public meetings and hearings that if you wanted to attend, you could go and ask some questions, Sonny. Um, this isn't a, I don't think this is the place to debate this. We're not debating. Uh, just a little just... information, okay, but, but try to, you know, not get down too far into the weeds with the with the explanations. I, I, just to try to keep it um, focused on budget, sure. closer to budget than, than going off into, uh, you know, other tangents all over the sure, place. Sure, that's uh, fine. Please, if, if everybody would please do that. Thank you. Um, Sonny, are you done with your questions for now? I'm just in this area. Still? I've got all the questions that will come up. Oh, okay, okay, that's all right. Anybody um, else have something to say? Yes, <laughs> Seeing none. Oh, Tim. I appreciate the work that's <coughs> been done to uh, address uh, 
public health concerns, especially regarding water. Um, I'm happy to watch the selection meetings and uh, keeping their uh, eyes on that potential very even deadly problem. Correct. But we're here to talk about legal. And uh, so I'm going to stay focused on that. I do appreciate the, uh, the stuff that, that, that I see, uh, as I said. Uh, you have been reorged. You were once working directly for the selectmen, and now you're not. Is that correct? I'm my uh, direct supervisor is the town manager at this point, as of the uh, second half of this year. No, it happened in July, July I think. Right? Just kind of, I noticed that at the time. Um, <clears throat> The, uh, that was also the same time, I believe, approximately the same time, that the selectmen uh, chose to, uh, I believe Mr. Bean's phrase was, initiate a tort against the state to reimburse expenses at the beach. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the selectmen's direction, certainly. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> whether that has been filed or not is public knowledge, so I'm sure you don't mind answering the question. Has it been filed? No. Not yet. So we're looking at five months after the fact that the selectman directed the filing of the tort, which it still hasn't occurred. I also note that in your other activities, in addition to assisting the planning board, you also assist assessing, correct? Uh, I certainly, I assist uh, a lot of people, every department. But assessing actually has a subline item in it. Uh, Sub subline actually <laughs> for a hundred thousand dollars for outside expenditures, which are actually litigation expenditures, and, and, and you basically handle that for them, right? Uh, not you entirely. Hire the outside outside not, counsel. Not or? entirely. Okay. It's it's a mix of myself and outside counsel. Yeah. But, okay. Fine. But that hundred thousand dollars is like part of your activity relative to tax abasement and stuff. It's uh, expert expenses, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I have a, I have another question, which I think uh, might be, um, uh, in my opinion, unnecessarily controversial to bring up on camera, which I've been trying to seek an answer to. Uh, I haven't been able to get through the bureaucracy of, of the protocol to get to it. I hope to do so subsequently. So I'm not going to pursue it here tonight. Okay because I am trying to do this gently. Um, so, with that said, I want to point out that there are a number of questions that I have, all of which are uh, most likely controversial or confidential in nature and appropriately only asked in non-public session. We requested a non-public session. The request was denied. And thus, the information to us to make a decision, denied. So I consider myself to be uh, denied sufficient information to make a proper judgment on this line item. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jones. Sonny, go ahead. Yeah, I had some questions. You've got 14 active suits. I've been on the budget committee for a number of years. This is the first time I've seen this. <coughs> as, according to your records, as through October, outside council is $136,000. Right. Actually, just so you know, I've get the, the list of cases that I provided you include litigation that is tax matters and non-tax matters. I, I if, you, if you add the two together at this juncture, it's like uh, 22. Okay. But the point is you've already spent 136000 on outside council, and those are ongoing. We That's only through October. How much revenue do you expect the town to receive from all this litigation? I, I uh, can't tell you that uh, in terms. I any? can't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, I can't I get into that. Well, I remember the suits against Aquarium, where they asked, after the suit was settled, they simply billed the town their legal expenses, and our water bill went up. I well, that, that isn't always the case. Let me give you an example. <coughs> When Aquarian went to uh, wanted to go from uh, quarterly billing in a re in, a, in advance to monthly billing in arrears, uh, we uh, had some uh, problems with that that we're going to 
dramatically affect the town, especially when it came to payment of hydrants. And, uh, and so uh, our efforts involved in that resulted in, of course, in-house expenditures of time, but also acquiring expenditures of attorney's fees. One of the terms of the resolution of that was that Aquarian would not charge the attorney's fees it incurred uh, to the customer base. Okay, I still have the question. You obviously won't, can't, can't give me an answer on revenues. I've got another issue. You're well aware of the water problems in the town, right? Well, it, 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 you know, in the summer they hit the 80 percent level, right? The what problem, Sonny? The water. 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 water flooding? Man. You mean yeah. flooding? Okay. Yeah. okay. No, not flooding. Treatment of water and... Wastewater water treatment. treatment. I'm, what I'm getting at is the hotel that's going up on Liberty on Exeter Road, okay? That was on a piece of property that had a restriction on the deed, no hotels. That deed was waived, Okay. Now they're building a hotel that's going to have 150 <coughs> parking spaces. That, that, do you know how much water is, and wastewater is going to be resolved? That's not, that, that, that had, Sonny, place. Sonny, I know you have a concern about that, but this is not. Well, this is this went that. right through the water, right through the water selectman. Okay, that's. This is not. We're not going to talk about that right now, Sonny. Okay. I'm sorry, well, but when are you going to talk about it? We're not going to talk about it right now. Okay, that is not something that is appropriate. Well, I think it is, but that's that's your choice. Okay, that's my choice. Thank you. Anything else, Sonny? Yeah. Well, there may be some more. Yet. Is there other questions for him? Any other questions for any for uh, Attorney Gerald? Seeing none. Uh, we're ready to vote in that case. Those in favor of this budget? We have, I'm going to call them out for you, Barbara. <coughs> we have David. We have Mike Plouffe. We have Steve LeBranch. We have Regina Barnes. Against? We have uh, Sonny. We have Brian. And we have Steve Henderson against. And abstain would be Tim Jones. So could you give me the numbers on that, Barbara? That's so good. Mr. Kravitz, Mr. Lapham, Mr. Henderson, and who's that's the other? That's it. That's it for the no's. For the nays, though, that's it. And then you have Mr. Jones abstaining. So you have four, three, <coughs> one. Okay, so that passed. Thank you very much. Mark. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. In fact, I expect we'll be revisiting that vote when I get more information. Hopefully, if you get through this protocol, I'll be able to get some of that information. Mark, one question before you leave. This the confidential uh, confidential document that you gave each of these committee members is has to be remains confidential, correct? Yes, please. Can I ask okay. a question about that, Mr. Go Chairman? ahead. I wish you would. You know, I haven't seen anything in that confidential memo that is not public information. So I don't know why it's confidential. Well, let me put it this way. Uh, the fact of each of these matters being a public, a, an item that is already filed and in a court doesn't mean it's compiled in a document like this. So it's or a compilation. It's the compilation, not the facts, but the confidential. Is that what you're saying? Correct. So we can disclose the facts, <coughs> but not the compilation. That's that's it. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Sonny? Yeah, one, you know, one yeah. other point. You're, you're almost out of here, Mark. Go ahead. <laughs> you should have ran when you had the chance. <laughs> Liberty Lane is putting a new, their wastewater and drinking water runs through the same pipe. Right? <laughs> so this, they're putting drinking water in a separate culvert. I understand who's paying for it. Liberty Lane. We, Sonny, Sonny, you asked that question to me before. Yeah, no, I asked what I, the town manager, one more and I question. told you. One, that, more, one, okay, one okay. more statement. But No, no, that's okay. But I gave you that answer once before. Liberty Lane Associates is paying I, for that. Let me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Looking at these documents, there's a lawsuit 
against Liberty, or Liberty Lane is seeking an abatement. They're seeking an abatement, which I suspect is the cost of installing the, the new water system. Am I wrong? Right, yes, you're wrong. I'm wrong? <laughs> one, one particular property <coughs> is seeking a tax abatement. Mm -hmm. One particular property in the Liberty Lane area. Which one? The, far, the building where Planet Fitness is located. In other words, the hotel's not involved in this? Okay. Okay, that answers your question, Sonny. Thank you very okay. much. Have a thank great you. evening. Thank you. Um, thank you, Christy, and... Can I ask you Oh, please, I wish you would. <laughs> is it the wish of the committee to discuss gasoline and diesel when we are here next week on the 14th, or at your final review? So I can have the numbers to next go ahead week. and ask. I wish to discuss it when you're fully ready to make the proposal. Will you be ready next week, Christy? And I don't want to rush you on it. Okay. Will you be ready next week? I will do my best to be ready next week. Let's, Let's see how, the we'll, if it's ready, then we'll, we'll discuss it. How's that go? Okay, thank you very much. Question for Christy. Christy, do you have the library's treasurer's report? No. She said she gave it to you. She okay, said I'll she gave it. it to me. That's what she said. She gave, gave it to the town. She didn't say me? I don't yeah. know. Well, I have a library trustee. Okay. The attorney general of the state said. I know the auditors the have, the libraries have uh, to audit do their gross financials, budgeting. but I do not. Soloway and Hollis did a pro bono search and said libraries have to do gross budgeting. Their investment accounts are not part of their budget. Mm -hmm. By statute, they're not part of their budget. Mr. Chairman, is there a motion? According to the there? Attorney General, the Attorney it General requires no budget. Order, order here. The Attorney General, I order. Said that. Okay, thank you very much, folks. Okay, we're going to go on to the next uh, agenda item here. We have an approval of minutes from December 5th, they're not available yet. Right. Uh, Selectman's report, anything that you need to update us with, Regina? I have nothing since Tuesday. Okay, of course, we only just met. Nobody's here from the school or the village. Right. The CIP, I imagine, is pretty much the same. Okay, other business, I want to mention that we our next meeting is a week from today, and we will be wrapping up with a lot of uh, things. I want to say as well, I appreciate very much all of your help tonight. Everybody did a great job. We moved a lot of, we did a lot of business tonight. Okay, thank you very much, every one of you. And, uh, and okay, we have Sonny and Tim. Let Sonny go. I Sonny, enjoy listening okay. to him. Okay, Sonny, go ahead, please. Oh, I was going to raise with our town council the, the RSA 91, if you recall. <laughs> okay, because he's not here now. I'm not talking. I'm just talking. Talking before we adjourn. Okay. Go ahead. We we, we had a tra training session with the. New Hampshire Municipal Association. The, the lawyer from the New, New Hampshire Municipal Association says the only way you can deal with nuisance RSA 91A requests is to use BCC blind copy. Okay, mm -hmm. when when the newspaper got the information from the, our council, what violation of RSA, you know, what what violate what constitutes this public meeting? Came up with two points. One was a new member of the committee sent an email around. That was a violation, okay. But since he had not had any training, it, if you look at the the mission statement, if you look at the job description of the town council, he's supposed to be helping. <coughs> us. Instead, he gave us a. Uh, demand for records, okay? The other comment that he considered a violation was somebody sent a response saying, looks like it's going to be a fun year. I thought I sent it, but Brian said he sent it, so I'm, I'll be graciously good and give him credit. This is total nonsense, okay? We spent, how much time did we spend putting, getting all our records together? For, for nonsense. I think we spent enough time on it already, and if I remember correctly, there was a motion made last year towards the end of the year by Mr. Jones, and it was seconded and it was approved by this entire committee that we weren't going to talk about it anymore. So that's it. We're done talking about that period. So we're not going to talk about it, Steve. We're not talking about last year, 91A. That's the past, period. Okay. So if you've, got, if you've got something to say other than 91A, 
It's we're not on the public record now. So. Yeah, fine. We're not talking any further about it. So if this is about 91A, don't yeah, even leave. Make one, one clarification, okay? On February 21st at the meeting, okay, 2017, I asked and we were told we would get a written response from the selectmen. Uh, Ms. Barnes was going to handle it. It's right there in our notes. And she was going to talk to the town manager and the selectmen and give us an answer. That's okay. this year. Are you directing this to And I did send you an email several weeks ago uh, reference that because we had talked about it just beforehand. And what I'm asking is, is have we gotten any answer on that? We have not. We've gotten the answer that the town attorney sent to the entire committee about why he thought why the violations did occur. And there was more than those emails, honey. I saw them myself. I did not respond to them, but I saw them. I'm going along with you. I'm not talking about the same. This is the last thing we need. We got issues to deal with. Okay, Let's okay. deal with the issues. Okay, well, that was a pretty not pertinent issue last year. It was. No. It was. In the instructions, the okay. issue we have this year. Okay, order. Okay, Tim. How to pay for it. Tim. Mr. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> Since you cited my motion. <laughs> My motion was not a motion of censorship. It was a motion to stop the noise and get back to the work of the budget committee. Okay. So I don't consider that motion to be uh, a prohibition on, on the topic for all eternity. Right. I make a motion. I am not done. Um, I think, Mr. Henderson, you, you, if you still have questions, Pursuit. You need to direct them through the protocol to, to the chairman. Chairman to chairman to chairman, all that garbage, which I have been frustrated with on questions that are of current value. And I will continue to pursue the protocol because I like to play by the rules. Right, Mr. Chairman? Now I have a, a request. Reportedly, the uh, town or the Board of Selectmen have entered into contracts with the present town manager and the present assistant town manager, I would like uh, the budget committee to be emailed copies of those contracts. I don't see why that would be a big difficult thing to do. Can you make that happen, please? Regina, can you get are those available? Those are... Are they even available? Because I seem to remember that... I think someone told me they're available at the town office. I don't know. No, that. Don't each time the chairman of the Board of Selectmen has announced that they are available at the town clerk's office. I'm asking that they be emailed to the budget committee members. I find it senseless that we have a town clerk's office who is asking for additional labor, constant complaints about long lines at her office, that we are expected to drudge down and bother her over something that can be simply emailed to us. In fact, it should just be on the town's website. But Thank barring you. that, I just want an email with the day of contract. It will be done. Thank you. It will. It shall be done. Thank Any, you. Anything else, Tim? I would like to uh, make a motion that we uh, all smile and say uh, adjourned. Yes, and adjourned. did you want to second that, Brian? I'll second that. All in favor? We Where's the smiles? Come on. Oh, I'm staying We're adjourning <laughs> at 8.48 p.m. Thank you very much, Channel 22. And thank you again to all of you committee members. You did a great job today.